This video is sponsored by Invato Elements. Now get 7 days free trial from Invato Elements. Check the first link in the description box. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLandVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a cinematic tailor animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay so let's get started. Okay so first create a new composition. Let's call it cinematic tailor. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 25 and duration 7 seconds long then click on ok. Ok now create a text layer so right click new then click on text. Let's type your text. I type in. Let's type in After Effects. Okay, now make it center. Now open properties, then click on animate, then click on tracking. Now go to the beginning of this animation, then set a keyframe on tracking amount and increase a little bit then go to around one second 15 frames then tracking amount set it zero now select these two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this perfect Okay, let's turn off visibility of this layer. Now create a solid layer. So right click new, then click on solid. Let's call it saber. Then click on OK. Now go to effect and preset window and search for saber. Now select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer. Okay, now glow intensity set it 21 and glow spread set it uh, maybe 35.35 and glow bias set it uh, 0 0.30 and then change the color you can choose any color you want okay now go to customize score then code type set it text layer and then text layer set it our text after effects layer Okay, now end size is 0, perfect, and then go to uh, end roundness set it 0, and hello intensity set it 150, and uh, core softness set it 2. Now go to beginning of this animation, then set a keyframe on start offset and set it 100%, and then go to around 3 seconds, then start offset value set it 0. Now press U on your keyboard then select these two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like that looks good to me okay now uh, go to uh, render settings then composite setting uh, set it transparent okay now create a camera so right click new then click on camera then click on ok now select this saber layer then make it 3d by clicking here now create a null object so right click new then click on null object and make this layer 3d as well now select the camera layer then print it to null one something like this now go to beginning of this animation then select this null layer then press p then set a keyframe on position then increase the z amount something like that 
then go to around maybe uh, one second forward and, and decrease the Z amount like that now select this two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve perfect design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Invato Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Invato Elements and start creating today. Ok now select this camera layer then press P and then set a keyframe on position. Then go to end of this animation and decrease uh, the Z amount a little bit. Looks good to me. Okay, let's add our background and uh, project files. You can download these project files from the link in the description box below. Now import our project files. Now select our um, background, then place it into this composition. Now right click, then go to transform and click on fit to comp. Now go to effect and preset window and search for tint. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then add curves. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. And simply change the RGB curves. Something like that. Okay, now create an adjustment layer. So right click new, then click on adjustment layer. Now add curves on it. And then channel set it red. And then change the curves to something like that then set green perfect now add um, uh, CC color offset now select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and uh, red face set it minus 8 and green face set it minus 8 and blue face set it minus 6 okay now add curves and simply change the RGB curves to something like that now add vibrance And vibrance amount set it uh, 50 and saturation set it 10 now add sharpen and sharpen amount set it 20 okay looks good to me now create a uh, um, orange solid layer and put it below the adjustment layer and change the blend mode to add okay now go to bring up this animation then press p then set a keyframe on opacity then go forward five frames and opacity value set it zero then hold down ctrl shift then press d and delete this uh, uh, layer okay Let's add our particles layer. Simply change the layer mode to add. Okay, now create a black solid layer. So right click new, then click on solid. 
color set it black and uh, then go to toolbar and select this uh, rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks path then hold down ctrl alt then drag then simply click on invert perfect our animation is complete that's how i create the whole project thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day and i will see you in the next video till then peace out